Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Finally getting a Christmas video out. So this is, as from the title, the kids Christmas stockings. Um, yeah, I kind of, I feel like I found it hard, but then actually when you start putting all the pieces together and you actually putting everything in and saying, you know, Alistair's actually got a decent amount. They all seem to have quite a generous amount without going too crazy. Although Violet, ah, I don't know what it is with girls. I just feel like I could just buy. They've got so many little bits. She's so into all the girly bits, you know, the hair accessories and the makeup stuff and you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to start off with Alistair first. He is 12 um, and he's just got a mixture of things. I feel like, again, as he's getting older... Some things are slightly more expensive and kind of bigger items, but there's less of them. And that's with regards to not just stockings, but just Christmas in general. It feels like there's just less stuff, but it costs way more. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to pull out bits one by one, tell you where I got them from. Hopefully this will give you, give you some ideas, some inspiration. Obviously, there's three children that I'm going to be showing you for. So Alistair's 12, Violet's 10 and Miles is 2. So, the first item, which is, I'd say, a bit of a bigger, more ticket item for, say, a stocking filler. But these were actually on sale. He needs some new headphones. I saw these in TK Maxx on sale for £10. They are the Sony um, headphones, and they kind of fold up compact as well. Um, I think they're just going to be really useful and a great stocking filler really you know just something to put this can be a big item as well potentially but i'm i'm going to throw this in the stocking so yeah a bit of a bargain find found that quite a while ago he has got this christmas crossword for kids book this was um in the works i actually got this last week it was originally 5.99 down to two pounds um just a whole load of kids crosswords something he's just into he's into sudoku and all of that something to get them thinking and just doing something other than being on their screens so yeah I got him that um I also got him a little smelly set the links uh this one's the ice chill he got a similar one last year and as it obviously is at that age where he just needs deodorant and shower gel it's nice to get him sort of stuff that's more a bit more grown up smells nice fresh so I've got him that I think that may have been from B&M for like three pounds um i got him oh yeah this has literally just come i can't really show you it that well because it's actually in pieces but it's a slingshot he loves going in the garden and messing about he actually made his own slingshot it wasn't very very effective but i thought oh that could be actually a really good stocking filler he's obviously he's, he's sensible um but it's a bit of fun as well it just needs to be attached but this one's from amazon i think it was six pounds 99 so yeah a slingshot so i got him one of these mystic balls these are in b and m i think three or five pounds um you just shake it and you ask it a question and it just comes up with like random questions it's just a bit of fun there's the little thing there just a bit of fun i just thought he would like that a bit of a novelty gift and this grows up to 50 percent bigger zombie glow in the dark this was two pounds i don't know if you put it in water yeah, you put them in water and they grow double the size. And then I also got him these fidget tubes just as a little novelty thing. I think this was either 150. Um, the touchscreen gloves. Obviously, he's got his own phone. I thought they'd just be really useful for because he's got gloves. Well, he's got one pair of gloves, but he hasn't got any touchscreen ones, so I thought they'd be really useful. I have a feeling these may have been from the Poundland. Um so yeah, got him those. I also got him this multi-tool pen. It's a stylus, a screwdriver, a ruler, and a spirit level, and a pen. Um, I think this was a B&M find as well, or maybe a Poundland find. I can't remember. I bought a lot of these things a long time ago, but generally it's a pen, and it's just useful as well with those extra gadgets. I also got him this other pen, which was from um tiger which was a pound you can never have too many pens and then this cubebox glowing portable speaker um it's bluetooth integrated suction this was originally 15 pounds down to 6.99 in home sense tk maxx um 
yeah, it can actually stick to your phone. And it's, just, yeah, just a portable Bluetooth speaker. Again, really useful. It's really into music. You can take it around with him. And I just thought it was a really kind of useful stocking filler again. Then so we've got the Jelly Bean Game, which was £2 from B&M. It's a chopstick challenge. This is kind of down the Christmassy aisle at the moment. And then also Smelly Science. This looks disgusting. Stink Bomb Bag. Oh my God, this is going to be horrendous, isn't it? So uh, yeah, this was £1.50. I thought he would find that really fun. And last two items. I got him the Reese's Trees and this little marshmallow thing, which I found in the card factory randomly at the till. This was a pound strawberry flavor marshmallow lolly. It's kind of Christmassy themed. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that's going into Alistair's stocking. Okay, so for Violet, we have the shine spray, which I got from my salon. I took her there for her birthday to have her hair done and she lo I love this anyway it smells incredible but that was a bit of a bit more of a spendy shine spray but um yeah I think she loved that I got these little donut lip balms from B&M they were three pounds for three I also got her this rainbow crystal growing kit um so you can grow your own crystals in like a rainbow color this was 250 again from B&M um, I got her these false nails. I have a feeling these were from Home Bargains for like one ninety nine or one fifty. Um, just a bit of fun. She loves occasionally putting stick on nails. Some three pack lip glosses. Again, I think I got these from Home Bargains for ninety nine p. She also has a Squeeze Me sausage dog. She is obsessed with these dogs. This was one pound fifty from B and M. She also has the lolly and the Reese's trees. I got her this headband, which was, for, it was actually in a bucket box, um, but I took it out because it's just too big and bulky. This is from um, Home Sense. Um, she loves putting these headbands on when she like, washes her face or whatever. I thought it was just really, really nice. And the tie dye color is just really, really pretty. She also has this bling, Blingle Bands Gem Friendship Bracelets, makes two. So I don't really know what it is, but it's basically a creative um, thing. Again, it was from B&M. I think it was about three pounds. Also from B&M, I got her this drumstick squashies. So instead of like the, the jelly bean thing, I got her these instead. So it's a sour cherry and apple flavor, giant candy cane and stickers. And then we have these fun erasers. I actually ended up accidentally picking her up two erasers, some Christmassy ones from Tiger, which were a pound, and these ones were down to a pound as well from B&M in the reduced section. But um, she obviously still at school and writes a lot with pencil. They mainly do pen, but they still do a lot with pencil. So erasers are really useful. I got her this little notepad. I think this is from Home Bargains. Again, most of these things are like 99p. A little bath bomb, again, from Home Bargains. This one's kind of like a multicolored kind of one. I thought that was quite sweet. It's a surprise fizzer. She's got a squishy stress ball in like a Santa design. I think this potentially might be from Home Bargains or B&M. But she loves all those squishy and things, you know what it's like. They're still very much into these things as well. These squish me, squishy pals. You can kind of collect them. I actually got those from my local toy store. They were $1.99. I got her these two items, which I think, I'm kind of trying to remember, I think are from Home Bargains. It's a black kind of faux leather headband. I may steal this one from her and a couple of scrunchies. I also got Violet this snood from Primark. It was four pounds and it's actually in the kind of adult section. But um, yeah, it's basically just a really lovely fluffy. They did this in a couple of colors and I just, she hates being cold and I just know this is something that she would absolutely love. Um, I should probably have got myself one, but um, yeah, for four pounds, I thought it was an absolute bargain. They have it in a black, I think they have it in a gray, a blue. Right, last few items, we have some more of these 
um, little butterfly clips because she loves the ones that I got her for her birthday, but they were kind of more sparkly. These ones are more kind of matte and more colourful. So I got her those. These were from Amazon, I believe. She's been on and on about one of these pop snaps. Um, one. I think this one was from the works and it was like $1.99 or something. Right, she's also got a little pen from Tiger. That was a pound, the little reindeer. And then lastly, she's got a little body spray from Home Bargain. I think that was 99 pence. Apple, candy apple fragrance. So yeah, that is pretty much everything Violet's got. Very um, cosmetic-y kind of thing. But I think that's just kind of what she's into now, you know? She's at that age where she loves all the kind of little girly bits. Okay, so Miles is two. Um, he's just got a couple of, but a few bigger bits. Um, I didn't really want to get him too many little bits. He's got loads of toys and like smaller items. But I saw this in B&M and this was £3. It's a Space Star light projector. They had a few different ones of these. I think my sister got the fish, either the fish one or the jelly, like a bigger jelly one, jellyfish one for my nephew. But um, yeah, it looks like that. It's just, you know, you just put batteries in it and it just lights up the room in a few different colours and projects. So I thought that was quite good for £3. He has got a colour changing car. So it goes in the water and it changes colour. That was £3 from B&M as well, which I think he's going to really like. Um, again from B&M, this was one ninety nine. This little bath bombs, uh, strawberry scented for when he has a bath. He's going to love that. I got him some little slipper socks, sleigh bells. I think these are from Home Bargain. They've got little um, elves on them. Super cute. I got him some dinosaur ones last year from there, actually, and they're still going strong now. So, um, yeah, socks are really useful. He also has one of these Squeeze Me sausage dogs because I know he's going to love it. His own one, £1.50 from B&M. I got him some little oil pastels. Not probably the best, you know, he needs to be supervised with these, but one of his big items, um, he's going to, these are just going to be really useful with it. So I got him those from Tiger. I think they were £2. Um, and obviously all the kids can use them, but I'm just going to put them in his stocking. I got him this puzzle. I think I got it for him like last year. It's just been sat in the cupboard, but he's just hasn't been big enough. But this is basically a three set of like these big puzzles. There's a six, oh no, it's four puzzles. It comes with the road, the little track as well, the little road. Um, so yeah, there's a six piece, a nine piece, 11 piece, and then the road is a six piece. Bought them absolutely ages ago online when I bought a few, a few other bits because they were it was in the sale. It's kind of like bigger pieces and he loves puzzles. So I think he's gonna really love this. So I got him that. Um, I also got him the Santa Claus book with the googly eyes. I think this may have been from Home Bargains or B&M for a couple of pounds. Um, he also has some paint sticks by Little Brian. These were three pounds from B&M. We have a big box of them, but we don't... I think we have the gold and silver, but we don't have the rest of the metallic ones. But they literally do all the colours in, like, these little boxes. Would highly recommend these. These are so much fun. All the kids love them. They're kind of mess-free painting without having, like, splats of paint everywhere. Um, just in a, in a stick form. So, yeah, got him those. And then lastly, he also has a marshmallow lolly. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I've got the children for their stockings this year. I feel like I haven't tried to go too like overboard, but they've got a few nice bits. Um, and yeah, sometimes it is a little bit hard to kind of try not to duplicate things that they already have. Because obviously, especially when they're older, they have a lot of those like little bits already. Um, but yeah, I really hope this has given you some ideas, some inspiration. Don't forget to check out my other stocking filler videos I do these every year and honestly I've been doing them for probably the last five or six years so there is so much ideas like back when the kids were younger as well 
but yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling festive and Christmassy. We finally got our tree up yesterday and it just feels so cozy and festive. We've got lights around our house. It's just really, really nice. Um, I've just been itching to kind of get it all out and ready. I can't even believe we're only like 20 days till Christmas. I'm so excited, but I've got so much wrapping to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you're well and I will see you in my next video.